Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video where today we're going to be taking a look at the Kef LS50 Meta speakers. As you can see next to me here we've got the LS50 Metas in carbon black and nearer to yourself you can also see the LS50 Wireless 2 speakers. Uh, the LS range from Kef obviously one that's been super popular since their launch in 2012 with the original LS50s. Uh, the newer model, the Meta that's now been on the market for two or three years now has remained just as popular as when they originally launched back in 2012. And today we're going to be taking a look at what it is exactly that makes them such a great bookshelf at their price point. The first thing to touch on when we look at what makes the LS50 Meta so popular is the design of the speaker itself. The cabinet has remained unchanged since the original 2012 LS50 was released. It's got a five and a quarter two-way base reflex driver on the front, which includes Kef's patented UniQ technology, which is something that we'll come on to talk about a little bit later on in terms of the sound of the speaker. But the design itself, it's sleek, it's modern, it can go in anybody's living area, and that is one of the reasons that it is such a popular speaker for a lot of people. Along with the fantastic design of the LS50 Meta, a big part of what makes it so popular is, of course, the sound of the speaker itself. Now, why is this? Why does it sound so great? A huge part of that is what we touched on earlier, the UniQ technology that's built into the bass driver. What this essentially means is that you can put this speaker anywhere in your room and it should sound absolutely fantastic. Obviously, some speakers can be really fussy with the placement. It can be a big part of the listening experience that you have. But with the UniQ driver, this is the 12th generation of that. It was built into the original LS50s and it's been built upon since then. It essentially means no matter how awkward your room is, because let, let's face it, Nobody out there has got the perfect hi-fi room. You should still get a fantastic, natural, big sound out of these bookshelf speakers. Some of you might be wondering what the Meta stands for in the LS50 Meta speakers. Well, this is the big upgrade from its predecessor. It's a Meta material absorption technology that's built into the speaker, which allows the speakers to go up to a higher volume and avoids distortion, which some of the previous models suffered with a little bit. They were still good, but this is just gonna make them even better when you get to those high decibels really takes away a lot of the resonance created by the speaker when they're operating. Another one of the big selling points of the LS50 Metas is just how easy they are to get a great sound out of. And the recommended power from Kef is 40 to 100 watts from the amplifier that you're going to be using, but they're always going to give you a great sound. Obviously, you're going to want something at the higher end of that number to try and get the maximum out of them, but because they're so balanced, no matter what you plug in, you're usually going to be really, really happy with the sound that they put out. Now, personally, I've had a lot of success pairing them up with the name Unity Atom. We also paired them up with some of the Audio Lab models as well, and both of them have been really fantastic. Again, it's almost like having a blank sheet. The nice thing, because they are so balanced, if you want to plug in an amplifier that's maybe a little bit warmer, you can perhaps round up the sound a little bit. If you want something that's a bit more excitable, you can do that as well, but it's almost like working with uh, a, a blank canvas. It's always going to be great, and you allow yourself to fine tune that sound. Always going to sound natural, always going to sound big, but again, you can so sort of choose the direction that you want the sound to go in, which is a huge, huge positive. The LS50 Metas are currently on the market for around the £1,200 mark, and they're a very, very tough speaker to beat at that, especially in the realm of bookshelves. Maybe if you wanted something that was a bit more bass heavy, you could look at a floor stander, but again, even for the size of these little bookshelves, they put out a really large sound. For me personally, I'm not someone that likes a huge amount of low end, and the bass that these provide was more than adequate in my system. Again, we had a lot of success when pairing this with the name Unity Atom, but I'd love to know if you have listened to the LS50 Metas, how did you find them? If you own a pair of them, what are you actually pairing them with? And what have you had the most success with if you've had a chance to chop and change with different amplifiers as well? Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new focal headphones, which I'm really excited for, obviously. Focal, someone that's been super, super big in the headphone game over the last 24 months. Things like the Bethese headphones, Utopias, Clear MGs have been big hits, so I'm really excited to get my hands on a couple of the newer models and see if they also live up to that same level. Thank you again for tuning in and watching the video. Hope you did enjoy, and we'll see you all next week.